If you're looking for a capture card and you don't want to pay the Elgato premium, then check out this one from Pengo because watch out Elgato, this is the new kit on the block. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at a cool little capture card from a company called Pengo. This is the Pengo HDMI to USB type C 4K grabber. So basically it's like the Elgato Cam Link, except it's cheaper, does a lot of the same things, um, and it can really boost your, I guess, quality in terms of streaming or recording for your particular audience, whatever that might be. If you like this kind of content, then get subscribed, uh, maybe hit the like button as well, and uh, let's begin. Okay, so I've done a bunch of different capture card videos in the past. Most of them have been very cheap $20, $25 versions, and they've all been low quality, but still 60 frames per second. So if you're starting off, those kind of capture cards will definitely help you out. But if you're wanting to really elevate your content and you maybe have a camera that is able to do 1080p 60 or 4K 30 and it is a proper mirrorless or DSLR camera, then a capture card that can actually support some of those camera features is definitely going to be on your, I guess, little shopping uh, or wish list to get for the future. So Pango reached out to me, I guess, wanting me to check out this particular product. And um, at first I was a little bit skeptical because I've had other companies reach out to me as well. But based on the other products that they sell on their page, I felt a little bit more confident that they were actually going to back up, um, I guess, with the physical device, not just with what they were sort of advertising online. Now, based on those previous videos that I've put out and some of the common questions that I get in those videos, I'm gonna go ahead and essentially answer those questions for you now about this little device. So, first one is how much does it cost? Right now in Australia at the time of recording this video, you can pick it up on Amazon for roughly 170 Australian dollars. Now, what kind of device can I actually plug into this thing? Essentially anything with a HDMI, uh, I guess, output, so like your Sony PlayStation, your Xbox, a DSLR camera, um, even like a security camera, anything that can take a HDMI input, you can plug into this device. What software do you need for this particular device? None. What software comes with this device? None. And can you use it on Mac and Windows? Yes, you can. It's basically just plug and play, um, select your input capture device in something like OBS, and you're good to go. Now, do I need to get anything extra for this thing? Uh, well, I guess other than the HDMI cable, no you don't. Does it require extra power? No, it doesn't. Your computer supplies all the power to this thing. And what is the difference between something like this and a cheaper version? Well, basically, the cheaper versions will do 720p 30 frames a second, 720p 60 frames a second, or 1080p 30 frames a second. Um, this one here can do 4K 30, 1080p 60, 1080p 30, and then all the way down, um, but the 4K 30 being the big real selling feature of this particular device, and also 1080p 60. The Elgato Cam Link can do very, very similar settings and outputs, and the quality is very good as well, except it does cost a little bit more. Um, Elgato's been around for a little bit longer, and some people might say that Elgato is a better product in terms of the support, but personally, I haven't had to rely on need any support from this particular device yet, which is maybe why it's a little bit cheaper, but also I think they're just trying to disrupt the market a little bit as well. Now, essentially, why would you want something like this? Basically, if you're recording, making videos or streaming, and you wanna either capture high quality footage from your, maybe your Sony PlayStation, your Xbox, or your DSLR camera, that's why you would definitely need something like this. What are the computer requirements? If you've got a computer with an i5 CPU, four gig of RAM, and a USB 3 port, you're basically good to go. And I guess the final question is, what is the actual quality like? So rather than me talk about it, let's flip the script a little bit, and I'm gonna get everything set up, and I'm gonna actually show you what the quality is with my Sony mirrorless camera and this little 4K grabber from Pengo. Okay, so this is display capture using the Pengo 4K um, grabber if you like so we're on a windows 10 pc we're currently recording everything with streamlabs 
OBS in Windows 10. And we're gonna go into Device Manager first, just quickly, so you can actually see, I'm in my Streamlabs there, um, that in the camera section of Device Manager, you can see the Pengo 4K Grabber appears as a camera. And then I think if we actually go down to Sound and Video Game Controllers, we can also see it here um, in the Sound section. That's because it actually will also pass through the audio as well. Um, minimizing device manager now we'll go into the Windows 10 settings for devices and if we scroll down to the bottom here we can see where it says other devices Pango 4k grabber connected to USB 3.0 so it's really important that you do actually connect this to a USB 3 device because if you don't um, you're not going to get the best possible connection and all those other I guess display outputs like 1080p 60 and 4k 30 they actually won't show up unless you do have it connected to a USB 3 um, port on your computer so just make sure you're doing that as well going out of here back into Streamlabs I'll go quickly through the settings there so in settings you can see here under the video section um, the monitor that I'm using is a 4k monitor it's outputting as 4k so that's basically what you're seeing and then it's um, capturing it at 30 frames a second if we go to done and we go to sources you can actually go ahead and add a video capture device so this would be where you would add in like something like your your PlayStation or your Xbox or maybe um, your DSLR camera so you can click on video capture device and then you can go ahead and add a new source I've already got it added as Pengo so if you click add new source and go add you've got a few options here and one of them will be Pengo 4k grabber so we'll click on that one device default is 4k or you can customize it to be 1080p or 720p if you want to do that but I'll cancel it now because I've already actually done the setup for uh, I guess the device already so I'll turn off the display capture and now you can see me here using the Pengo um, capture card with my Sony DSLR camera that I use to make all of my videos and we're capturing footage from the camera at 4k 25 frames a second goes into the Pengo I guess 4k grabber into Streamlabs OBS and now I'm recording it here um, for you guys to see so the video quality is actually really really good though um, considering that this device is again only about 170 bucks compared to something like the Elgato ones which cost a lot more I would say that this is definitely a really good buy for someone who is wanting to upgrade their current capture card to, see, to be something a little bit more um, capable for something like their next generation console or something like their DSLR camera. So would I recommend this product to you guys? And the answer to that is obviously yes. Um, I've been using this product now for a few months and everyone has commented saying my camera quality looks better. And the reason for that is because I now have the capture card that can really show you how good the actual camera looks. It can do that 1080p 30 or 1080p 60, but obviously the 4K 30 is one of the main things that I'm using. If you're going to be using a device that doesn't put out those resolutions or those frame rates like 720p 30 for example then maybe maybe just get something a little bit cheaper but this device itself from pango has actually stood up really well doing three hour four hour streams it's not failed um, it's simple plug and play obs remembers the settings every time it's been a really really good experience so uh good job pango Guys, if you have any questions about this product from Pango, feel free to catch up with me on twitch.tv slash social hardware every Friday night at around about 10.30 p.m. I'm also on Instagram, just doing weird and wonderful things over there as well. Um, Instagram.com slash social hardware official. Um, thanks for watching this video once again, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Now that you're at the end of this video, if you want to check out some of my other PC hardware, uh, maybe check out the graphic card that I'm still using to this day in 2021, which is my Strix 2070 Super. I'll leave a link up in the corner and you can head over and click on that one right now. Pew, 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 pew.